Hello, I'm Erica Mavian and welcome to KCPS Homeroom. Today we're going to do some coding. We're going to start out with a story. It's Pumpkin Coding Time, Animated Storytelling. Today's objective is we're going to develop a plan that describes our program, sequence of events, our goals, and our expected outcomes. So the directions for your coding program today. This is going to be for our coders that are in kindergarten through second grade. First, you're going to read the story and then you're going to think about the process and the different steps that happened in the story. You're going to provide a retell of the sequence of events that occurred in that story. Then you're going to be able to demonstrate all of your plans by creating your own detailed drawing. Now think of all the different details that are in the story and you'll be able to put those in your drawing so that you can create your own story. So make sure you have all of the events that happened in order of the story. And then finally, we're going to use our Scratch Junior app to make a coding story. It's going to be so fun. Let's get started. First, we're going to read a story called, It's Pumpkin Time. Get ready for our story. It's called, It's Pumpkin Time by Zoe Hall and Sherry Halpern. Look at the seeds. I wonder what part of the story that's going to be. It's Pumpkin Time by Zoe Hall and illustrated by Sherry Halpern. All summer long, my brother and I get ready for our favorite holiday. Can you guess what season it is? Well, I guess you probably know because we plant a jack-o'-lantern patch. First, I turn the soil with the shovel and my brother uses a spade to dig a narrow row, one inch deep. And then we drop in the pumpkin seeds and cover them with soil. We water them and we wait in the sun to warm them up. Before long, the seeds grow into tiny roots and small green shoots poke up through the ground. The shoots grow into vines and the vines grow longer and longer. They get so long I can see them. I wonder what's next. Well, uh, they're going to find out that every week when they water them, they're going to need to pull up some weeds because the weeds and the plants don't go together. But they soon see buds where the flowers will bloom and the yellow flowers show us where the pumpkins will grow. And at first, we have a small tiny green pumpkin and it's going to keep growing. And then they grow bigger and all the patch is filled with vines and small pumpkins. And then they grow bigger and the leaves grow bigger and the pumpkins. And soon it's fall and the great pumpkins change color from green to yellow. And what color is going to be next? You're right, orange. Now they're ready to be picked. And we've never grown such big pumpkins. I bet they're going to be ready to pick it. Yep, mom and dad, they help us cut the pumpkins from the vines and we gather them in a wheelbarrow. We can take them home. It's just time for us to put on the faces and we may can put in candles, but we have to let our parents help. Do you know what they're going to do next? I wonder. Do you have an idea? I bet they'll set it out in their house for decoration. Yes, they do. They put on their costumes and they get all set for the celebration of fall. They even dress up the dog. Everyone looks so festive. So now they're able to go out and be with all of their friends, with all of their pumpkins and all of their costumes. So let's see how our pumpkin seeds grow underground. First, we have the seed. It's nice and tiny. It's one each inch deep in the ground. And after a few days, a shoot will come out. Its shoot 
will grow downward into the ground. And finally, the shoot will grow stem hairs. And those will be little roots that will start to sprout out from the little seed. Next, the shell will come off of the seed and it will continue to grow downwards, downwards, deep into the ground. Next, the shoot will start to go through the, the soil so it pokes out and forms small, tiny leaves. And next, our pumpkin leaf is starting to evolve. Our pumpkin will be coming through soon and I bet we'll see a flower. What color is that flower again? Do you remember? Each seed is one inch thick. You have to plant it one inch deep into the ground. And then the shoot will come out and it's gonna grow downward. And it'll take a few days for your tiny stem hairs to come out as the soil gives it nutrients and it continues to grow and it'll get bigger and then the shell will come off the seed and it will continue to grow down deep into the ground and it'll be nice and curly with those roots that are growing. We usually don't see those until we see the stem shoot through the dirt and the small seed leaves come through and finally we'll start to see the pumpkin leaves. They will start to emerge. The pumpkin leaves are clover shaped and then our pumpkin flower will be able to be produced. It will be yellow and then we'll know that our pumpkin is growing. That has been its pumpkin time. We are so excited about all of the growing that will take place. Let's think about how we can turn this into a coding game. That's going to be next. We're ready to start our Scratch Junior coding. Are you excited about our pumpkin coding? Do you remember all the parts of the story? Because we are going to use that story to create our coding. So here we go. The first thing I remember from the story is there was a boy and a girl and they were in their garden. So when I thought about how I wanted to create the story, I knew that I needed a backdrop that was going to replicate them being in their farm. So I chose the farm background. Where did I get the background? I chose the background here from our options. I looked through to find one that was going to work well for our background. When I was ready, I selected it by tapping it and it turns orange with an orange outline across the top. And then I have to choose the check mark so that that is my background. So when we're ready, you choose the background and it appears. And this is the first page of our program. So now, what else was in the story? Well, it had a title. We need to give our coding project a title. If we click the ABCs, it will give us a box and then we can type in what words we want. Maybe you want to give it a title. Maybe you want to say who the story is by. It's you, you're the author. Maybe you want to tell each stage of your story. For this story, we gave it a title, Pumpkin Coding. And then I wanted to say which step of the story it was. I gave this step number one for the seeds. So the second thing I needed to do was add the characters. For this page, I said that it was going to be our girl. I went over to our character section and clicked the plus and I was able to locate the girl by scrolling up and down till I found the character that I wanted. I chose the girl by putting my finger over the top and then I clicked the check mark. And then our girl appears in our backdrop. The next thing, seeds. I don't think I could find a color or a shape that I wanted, so I decided to make my own seeds. So I clicked that plus again and I chose my paintbrush so that I could make the seeds I wanted. I knew that the seeds were oval shaped so I chose the squiggly line that was the circle. When I chose my circle I'm able to use my finger to draw the shape that I want. Finally I can choose the color that I want to make for the seed. 
and it will fill in if I choose the paint bucket. And there we have our seed. We're going to add that seed to our backdrop. And there she is. So if you want two seeds, you'll draw two seeds. If you want many more, you could put those in your backdrop while you're drawing them. And that's going to complete our page one. Now I'm ready for our second page. I go over to the second section over here and I'm able to pick another background. But we're still in the farm, so I just kept the same one. This time, I gave it a title, number two, our plant. Do you remember that our seeds turned into a plant? I do. That was the second part of our story. Our seed turned into a plant, part two. I gave it a title by choosing the ABCs, and I also went to draw my plant. So I added the character for the boy, he's here, the girl, she's there, and I chose the plant by drawing it. I went to my paintbrush to make my illustration of the plant that I chose. And next, I'm ready for step three. So first we have the seeds, Second, we have the plant. Do you remember what the plant turns into? Hmm. Well, I remember that it had a vine and a flower. So there we have our plant, we have the vine, and we have our flowers. Do you remember what color the flowers were? You're right, it's yellow. I was able to go to our section of characters scroll to find one that I liked and then I could have that in there and if you find something you don't want you can just delete it by clicking the X and that just works like an eraser. Alright, so let's see. We have step one, we have the seeds. Step two, we have the plant. Step three, we have the vine. And step four, we have the pumpkin. For the pumpkin section, we added some friends by choosing our plus button. Now, all of our characters get to do something. When we choose the green flag, you'll get to see. Here's our program. Yay, it's pumpkin harvest time. Happy coding, and thank you for joining me for KCPS Homeroom.